Hello there guys, it's me, Rothgar here today, and today I'm going to be doing an updated video on my crosshair uh, toggling video. In that video, I explained how to switch between crosshairs and game with just the click of the button, and I'm just going to be doing an updated version of that. So for example, uh, why you want to do this is, for some guns I feel more comfortable with some crosshairs. So for the M4, the AK, and such, I feel more comfortable with this crosshair, it helps me line up uh, headshots easier. However, in, uh, for the pistols and such, this isn't such a great crosshair, especially for the Glock. Um, so I like to switch between this crosshair and then this crosshair, which turns red when I'm on point. So I just know when to click. And it also is a lot better at uh, being able to do the body shots because the other crosshair is strictly for headshots. So without further ado, let's get into this. Alright guys, so the first step is to go ahead and Open up your Steam Games folder and find Counter-Strike Global Offensive. So you go from Steam Games to Steam Apps, Common, and then you find Counter-Strike. And then you go into CSGO, and then you go into uh, your config folder. After this, we're going to go ahead and open up a Notepad file. I use Notepad++ because it's better. And we're going to go ahead and uh, create two or more Crosshair files. So you guys uh, can go online and go to a Crosshair a generator. I'll link that in the description. And uh, go ahead and create two files here, or have, uh, however many you're going to be using, and paste in the crosshair commands, just like this. So this is my uh, the one that turns red, and the, this is the pink one that I use for headshots. So all these uh, commands are pasted in there. And then make sure to save your file, go to save as, and then save it as uh, the name. So I use crosshair1 and crosshair2, it keeps it simple. And then be sure to save it as a .cfg which will save it in your config file, and CSGO will recognize that. So, I already saved it as one, but that's what you would do. And then, that way, when you type in the commands, Counter-Strike will recognize it. Alright guys, now that you've made those two uh, crosshair folders, we are going to go ahead and make it so uh, you can find the keys to it, and uh, make it so Counter-Strike will recognize it. So the first step to do this is to open up your developer console, and type in exec, and then the file name that you had. So I used crosshair1 to keep it simple. So I'm going to go ahead and use crosshair1. And then do the same thing with crosshair2. Oops. There we go. So there we go. So it, that basically makes Counter-Strike run a uh, location check and recognize that there are, the, are those two files in the config folder. The next step is to go ahead and bind uh, the key that you want, so I'm going to be using K and L, you can use any key that you want. I just like these two keys because I never uh, mispress them in game. So, bind, space, K, space, and then a quotation mark, exec, and then crosshair1. And then go ahead and do the same thing with your next key, so I'm going to be using L, and then exec, crosshair2. And then end the quotation. Okay, now that I have both of those in there, I'm going to go ahead and press K, switches my crosshair. I'm going to go ahead and press L, and it'll switch my crosshair. It's quite simple, and it's really nice uh, because it allows you to get the best performance from whatever crosshair you want. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, please leave a like, and as, uh, if you really liked it, subscribe to the channel. Let's try and hit 100 likes on this video. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good day. Evil chickens.